Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike Barry from Cine Samples. We're going to give Mike Patty the night off tonight from this uh, demo video of Cinecrash, our new library for uh, contact, featuring a bunch of crash and suspended symbols. We've been working on this for a while. It just got delayed and delayed because uh, our boy Tim Starnes had to go over to London with Howard Shore, and then it just kind of got burned while we were working on, working on Voxo. So... Here it is. It's a little bit late, but for those who own Cinetoms 2 and Cinesnares, you're going to get this as free, so I hope uh, that makes it up for you. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start on Suspended Symbol 1. Um, we recorded three suspended, well, three patches of Suspended Symbols, which was actually two symbols, one with sticks, one with mallets, and then we recorded uh, two Piatti. And we got a whole bunch of stuff. It's a pretty big library, three gigs for just those five patches. So uh, if you're in contact for you might want to bring this down to NCW, the compression, and maybe you get to eliminate like 50 or 60% of the size that way. So it's a pretty good investment for uh, hard drive space. Anyway, here we go. We got the suspended symbol one. On the bottom, you see on the bottom here, we got uh, three zones in the keyboard here. The first bottom is the uh, tempo sync rolls on the bottom left, and uh, let's turn the click on. That was a four one, here's an eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So those will be pretty handy. Um, by the way, I'm recording this in my backyard because I've been in front of my computer all day and I'm sick of it. So I'm on my iPhone with my iPad, and that's probably why you hear the crickets. Anyway, in the middle here, we've got the uh, Make Your Own Hits. This is Round Robin 8, five levels. Um, play your fingers, and you can pretty much make a roll by going loud to soft, kind of a flam on the piano. And then uh, up on the C4 and D4, we have the uh, familiar mod wheel rolls. And pretty much those are, uh, you hit the note, hold it down. Move the mod wheel up and down, and you get your uh, your rolls. C4 is an open ring out. D4 is a choke. And if you ever want to choke the sound you have, you can just hit the C sharps. They, uh, they choke the sound. So here's the same symbol with uh, sticks. Which uh, people write for a bit less frequently, because it doesn't have that much of a warmth to it. And uh, like most of our other products, here's the three mics. That was the far. Here's the close. Which in this case is a very narrow sound. This was recorded in the same hall as uh, Drums of War and Cine Snares and Cine Toms 2 and our upcoming Cine Temp. So uh, it's a pretty familiar sound. We're trying to stay pretty steady with the percussion while we go to uh, Seattle to record our other ensembles. Here's our second symbol, which is really cool. It's got a very nice deep tone, and it stacks well with the first one. You do mallet stacks. It has less of a high end, more of a richness. And uh, you're going to be using mostly far mics and stage mics on this library. The close mics kind of really take up too much space in the mix. And in fact, the symbols take up a lot of space, so you might want to shift it to the right, like I just did there. Uh, 20 degrees to the right or the left. That will pretty much help you conserve some space down the middle. And uh, here's our two Piatti. We have a big and a small Piatti. Pretty much this is the same recipe as uh, Round Rock. C3 to G3. C-sharp chokes. Hit and choke. You can hear the choke. And uh, here's Piatti number two. It's got a little deeper tone to it. And it has the same recipe Red Robin. I don't think anybody could play Piatti, but you never know. Up here we have the uh, short, recorded shorts, so you just playing and choking. And this time I'm just playing and choking myself, so uh, if we need even shorter. 
anyway, this time I'm just going to give a shout out to this awesome app um, I've had for a while. It's called iStat Menus. And you see, I can just drag it down here. I think it's like 19 or 29 bucks or something. And it lets you keep track of all your stuff. And uh, it's a really great app. You can say all those little cores are my cores on my processor. So uh, definitely worth picking up. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.